had an impact on our plans in the sense that our officers could not collate the results and forward them to the appropriate locations as planned. Secondly, we also experienced some challenges with the rain and particularly in some of our areas in the hinterlands, but Western North to be precise, it was difficult for our officers to travel to the regional capital and to, to send the results there. So this led to some substantial delays resulting in our receiving the results late. And this explains why the commission was not able to you know, release and, and, and declare the results as promised at 5 p.m. today. It's important to emphasize that the process is ongoing. As we speak, the commission has received 14 out of the 16 regional results. We have the National Coalition Center where we've had representatives of the political parties since yesterday. We have two reps for each party and they are working with our own staff as the results come in, the party representatives review them against what they themselves have received from the regions. And once they are satisfied that the results that have come to us from the regions is a true reflection of what they have received, they then append their signatures to it before the results are brought to my attention. As returning officer of the 2020 presidential elections, I then certify these results. Out of the 14 results received, we have certified seven to date, we, to, to, to this point. We believe that by the end of the evening, we would have certified the remaining seven. We are expecting to receive the two in the early hours of this morning, that making up the 16, and then it will put us in a good place to declare the results. We've also put the seven results that we've certified, received, approved, and certified on the various social media platforms and the website of the commission. So we are treating citizen, the citizenry to visit our websites and so, our social media platforms to review the results of the seven regions that have so far been certified. It is important to note, and there may have been speculations of some attempts to manipulate the results. This is false. I think the process that we have is a very transparent and participatory process. And I think any interested Ghanaian is aware that at the polling station we have the political party agents with our officials at the polling station. At the end of the election, at the polling station level, Parties then count the results, they collate them, and they document them on the face of the pink sheets, the statement of poll, and the agents of the parties then sign on to this. From the polling station level, the results are sent to the constituency collation centers, again in the presence of the political party agents. And at the constituency collation centers, all the results coming in from the various polling stations are collated and put on the face of the pink sheet and you know, signed on to by all the agents of the political parties. This is a very transparent and participatory process and involves both the electoral commission's officials and the political parties. This year, we have introduced a new level of transparency and inclusiveness. And what we have done is to introduce a regional collation center so unlike the previous elections where constituency collation results were sent to, straight to the National Collation Center here at the head office, constituency results are sent to the Regional Collation Center. And there also we have the full involvement of the representatives of the political parties. So what happens is that every region collates all the constituencies in that particular region. And therefore, if a region has 20 constituencies, you find on the regional collation sheet the, the summary, the, the details of 20 constituency results. Additionally, they, we also have the regional summary sheet, and you find a summary of 
20 constituency results. And this also involves the political parties in the sense that they approve this, they verify the information that is transported onto the collation sheets at the regional level and they append their signature to it. So this is the level of participation of the political parties, making it impossible for anybody to rig an election. And therefore, if there may have been speculations out there in the public space in the last few hours, we entreat the public to ignore it. Because the political parties append their signatures to these you know, collation sheets, regional collation sheets, starting from the polling station to the constituency and then to the region before it is sent to the National Collation Center. At the National Collation Center, I believe some of you may have witnessed what happens there. We find you have the representatives of the political parties who, when the results come in from the regions, they review it and verify it against what they themselves have received from their own agents. And the, once they are happy with it, they append their signatures to it before it is brought to the office of the chairperson for certification. It is only after that that the results are projected on our website or shared with the general public. So this is the level of participation that we see. It is important to emphasize that this year, the results are still coming in in the good old fax way and by email. And so what we are getting is not just numbers coming through some transmission, but there are photographs and images of the pink sheets and the, the collation sheets. And so for, at the National Collation Center, the results that are coming in are the regional collation sheet and the regional summary sheet. All of them are signed by the agents of the political parties. And this is what we have. And this is what is presented to the political parties before certification by the chair. So we thought that it's important to express our regrets for our inability to organize and the declaration at 5 p.m. as planned. This is what had happened. The unexpected rains and the, some of the challenges that we experienced as a result of the rain. And indeed, some challenges that had occurred at the collation center made it difficult for us to, to declare the results as expected. We are hoping that we should we be able to, we are hoping that in the early hours of this morning we would receive two additional results and will thereafter be able to make the declaration to sometime tomorrow. It's also important, in the past, the issue of parliamentary results was something that was declared at the constituency level. We've noticed that there's been some confusion about the number of seats in parliament, and we ensure that we, treat, we, we assure you that tomorrow we'll make this information available to you as to the number of seats in parliament, which party has the number, which number of seats, how many independent candidates we have in parliament to put the issue of, you know, the number of seats parties have in parliament to rest. We are collating this. Currently, you know, the information is going out on our website, but this is some information that we'll share with you tomorrow so that we can put that matter to rest.